hello everyone in this video let us test our data access layer there are various approaches or ways to you know work uh, with testing but uh, the easiest or the simplest process that normally i follow is creating some console app and checking whether it is creating the table and the databases properly or not to do so i need to add a console ui i need to add connection string in it that uh, should be in my app.config you can see that over here app.config I need to add Then I need to add the references of both business object layer and data access layer and I need to add entity framework DLLs as well That is entity framework DLL and entity framework dot SQL server DLL So the two DLLs that normally you get with entity framework. I need to add it in UI I'll just right click and I'll say add a new project this time it will be a console app and I'll name it as EIS dot console UI now you can see this app config file in this I'm going to add connection string that connection string ready with me you can see that this is a connection strings tag and the name of the connection string is EISDB now this should be same what you have given in DB context class that is this EISDB you can see the base constructor what it says it says name or connection string you need to pass the connection string name that that is the best you know, approach in app config so data source is express and uh, initial catalog that is the database name is again EISDB and integrated security is true so I'm using Windows authentication now if I look into my SQL server so this is my SQL server express if I just refresh this you can see I do not have any EISDB database available here so this is the first step that you need to perform second thing I need to add the references I need to add the reference of business object layer I need to add the reference of data access layer I also need to add the references of entity framework DLLs so for that I can simply browse I colon video tutorials angular JS project employee information system in this I have data access layer and in bin I should find debug here you have entity framework DLL and entity framework dot SQL server so these two things I need so I got these two things so I'll say okay now I got added these two things now my console program so here I need to create the object of my data access layer so I'm going to create the object of role DB R equals to new role DB now I will be adding a role so I'll say R dot insert and here I need to pass role object of business object layer so I'll just say new role now this role is the object of my EIS dot BOL so this is how I can initialize this object I can simply say role ID I leave it as it is why because it will be an identity column role name I'll just say admin and role code I'll just give as a that's it finally I need to say r dot save save this now I will set this as my startup project I will rebuild the solution and I'll execute it it should take little time why because it should generate the database it should silently come on the screen because we are not displaying anything on the console we are simply inserting a record then we will go back to our database and check whether we got the table database table and a record in that 
so let me execute this now let me go to my sql server right click refresh this you see eis db here the database that it has generated and the tables you should see employee and role now let me right click on role and i'll say edit top 200 rows then you should see admin in this that's it that means we are perfectly done with our data access layer now if i get some change in the requirement and my team lead or my client asked me to add one more property that is public string role description now what what is that it is going to do let me execute and check what it says that means changes in my business object layer it will throw an exception let us read what is the exception information the model backing the eis db context has changed since the database was created so after creating the database we change the model so what is that it is saying it is asking us to consider using code first migration to update the database that means i need to understand migrations because as i keep on developing my project i get requirements changed keep on so what do i need to do i need to update my model on regular basis so whenever i update my model it should update my database without losing the old data because I, I may have some records so all these things we will handle with the help of code first migrations or database migrations in your entity framework so we'll see that in our next video that's it for this video thank you very much